Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 4th of 2025 is titled Welcome to Perihelion. So what do we see here? Well, we see an image of the sun. So why are we talking about perihelion? Well, perihelion is the point in an orbit where an object is closest to the sun. And that is something that is occurring today on January 4th. And that is when the Earth will be closest to the sun. Now we have perihelion and we have aphelion, which is when it is at its most distant, which will occur about six months from now. Now these occur because Earth's orbit is not a circle but is in fact instead an ellipse. So it's a slightly squashed circle and that means there are times when the Earth is a little bit closer to the Sun and other times when it is a little bit farther away. Now that has a couple of effects. First of all, it will make the sun appear a tiny bit larger in the sky and it will make the Earth move a little bit faster around the sun in its orbit. So will we notice any change in the size of the sun? No, it's a very, very small fraction. It's just a few million kilometers closer than it is typically. And that few million out of 150 million kilometers just really isn't all that much. Now, the other does make a little bit of a difference. In fact, we can notice that the seasons are of differing lengths. So since the Earth is a little closer to the sun, it's moving a little bit faster. And that means that the winter season for those of us in the northern hemisphere is a little bit shorter than say the summer season, which is when the sun will be at aphelion and the Earth will be moving a little bit slower through its orbit. Now it's only a couple of days difference, so it's not a very big difference, but there is actually a slight difference due to the motion of Earth there. Now, one of the things that this sometimes confuses people with is the seasons. Why are we not warmer since we're closer to the sun? And in reality, the changing distance has no effect on the seasons. It is very, very small change and not enough to change the seasons. And in fact, other factors will overwhelm this, primarily the tilt of Earth's axis. So Earth's axis tilted by 23 and a half degrees means that sometimes we are leaning toward the sun and sometimes we are leaning away. So right now the northern hemisphere would be leaning away from the sun and the southern hemisphere toward it that making it winter here for a couple of reasons. First of all the sun will appear lower in the sky so the sunlight is more spread out over the ground. And secondly, it is because of the changing length of daylight that the sun rises later and sets earlier in the wintertime and therefore doesn't have as much time to warm Earth. So those two together really give us our distinctive seasons and can also explain why the seasons are opposite in the northern and southern hemisphere. If it was just due to the distance, then that would be the same seasons all around the Earth and it would be summer all across the Earth right now. So that was our picture of the day for January 4th of 2025. It was titled Welcome to Perihelion. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be rocket launch. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.